Hey, what's up guys? So you know best here. Today, the internet, I mean, Google has unveiled the Google Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL phones. So these phones are gonna be rocking, of course, a fantastic camera, some new software features, and some better hardware. So let's jump right into it and see what these phones are all about. Now, the first thing is that these phones do have bigger displays. So the regular 3 is gonna have a 5.5 inch display, and the 3 XL is gonna have a 6.3 inch display. And it's gonna be mostly screen on the front. You still do have a notch up at the top, but for the most part, they've made that display take up more of the front of the phone. And so these displays will not only be bigger, but Google promised that they're going to be better as well. And so they really focus on making these OLED displays just better all around displays as far as displaying your content, uh, being able to have those two different modes between adaptive mode, which is going to have the display showing a little bit more punchier colors, a little bit more saturation. And then you also have your natural display, which I think the, the Pixel 2s last year shipped with, which is going to be a little bit more duller, a little bit more softer, but going to be 100% RGB compliant. So you can really choose which one is going to be your personal preference, but this is just fixing one of the biggest things I didn't like last year with the Pixel 2 and that was a display and now it's going to be better. Now when you flip the phone around you will find the fingerprint sensor but also you'll notice that now you do have an all glass back design. Now this is still going to be broken up with a matte finish and a glossy finish but this new all glass back will allow this phone to finally do wireless charging up to about 10 watts so it's going to be pretty speedy. So you still have the fast charging with the USB-C and also the uh, wireless charging now and also it does have the adaptive battery inside of it and so this will allow the software to be to know how you're using your phone which apps you're using when you're using them and be able to adjust you know putting some of those apps to sleep or doing other things to be able to make sure your battery can last as long as possible and so the regular 3 does have a 2915 milliamp battery and the 3 xl has a 3430 milliamp battery and some other things with the hardware include dual front facing speakers which are going to be 40 percent louder than last year's pixels 2 and then also it does have a new titan m chip inside of it which is going to be really focused on helping keep your passwords and app data and all that stuff secure locally on your phone. And so now let's switch over to the software. And of course, these phones are going to be running Android 9 Pie. But they have some couple new things coming to these Pixel phones, including call screening, which will allow the Google Assistant basically to identify a call that may be spam. And it will actually talk to them and ask them to identify themselves and give a reason to why they're calling. And then it'll transcribe that and then show you that message on the screen. So you can decide whether or not you want to talk to that person. And then Google also announced that Google Duplex is going to be launching soon. And this is that AI software that you probably saw a few months ago, which will allow the assistant to basically be able to make phone calls for you. So if you're trying to set up a haircut appointment, you'll be able to allow it to do it. And it'll actually talk to the person on the other end and it'll be just like them having a natural conversation, but that person's going to be talking to an AI assistant. And so this will be launching in November in select cities to Pixel owners. So stay tuned for more information about that. All right. So now to what you really want to know about, what about the cameras on this Google Pixel 3? And so the cameras have gotten better. So on the front, they've added an additional camera. So now you have two cameras so this is going to allow you to be able to do group selfies so you'll be able to get a wider angle to get more people in your shot and also they just stuck to one single 12.2 dual pixel rear facing camera which can do some really cool things that are going to be mostly software based and one of those features is called top shot and this allows the ai to be able to identify the best picture so once you take a picture it's going to actually be taking a series of pictures and just in case somebody has blinked in the picture or somebody isn't ready or hair is in their face um, the ai will actually be able to go into those photos and be able to identify the best one where everybody's ready to go and looking at their best and recommend that one to you. And then since this phone still just has one single camera, you can't do optical zoom. So they have this new super res zoom, which will allow AI to be able to zoom into your image and kind of clean it up to make sure it's not going to be blurry or grainy, anything like that. And then to me, the most impressive feature is called Night Sight. And they put up a comparison between the iPhone XS and the Google Pixel 3. And you can see for yourself, there's a huge difference in the comparison here. Now, some people are speculating that they probably turned down the exposure on the iPhone XS, um, but I I think even if they didn't do that, I think what I'm seeing from the Google Pixel 3, if this actually comes out this way, it's going to be clearly better than what the 10s or really any other phone can do on the market right now as far as nighttime shooting. So I can't wait to really see and do a comparison between these two phones to see how big of a difference it will really make. And so these are all the new features of the new Pixel 3 phones, and I'm pretty excited for it. I mean, the camera, if it's going to be better than the Pixel 2, that's already a win. But I think all these new software tweaks and just the better general hardware are going to make this phone just be a really 
really solid all around phone. So I did put my pre-order in, you can too, because pre-orders are open now and the phone will be shipping on October the 18th. It's gonna be starting at $799 for the regular version and then the XL version will start at $899. And they also announced this new Pixel stand that's gonna cost $79, which allow you to be able to place your phone on it. It'll be wirelessly charging, but it will allow you to still get notifications and things like that without unlocking your phone. So anyway, these are all the details about these new Google Pixel 3 phones. Leave your comment down below and let me know what you think about them, whether or not you're gonna buy them or whether or not you're holding off for another phone that's gonna be announced here soon. And also be sure to follow me on all my social media networks and subscribe to me here on YouTube. And like always, I wanna thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.